Hey there, welcome back. As of August 2021, AWS has 21 security, identity and compliance services. This lecture covers those 21 security services from 10,000 foot view. Please stay tuned till end of this lecture where I summarize all those 21 services in a single slide. Let's get started. The first service is a guard duty. Guard duty offers threat detection service that continuously monitors for malicious activity and unauthorized behavior to protect your AWS accounts, workloads, and data stored in Amazon S3. How it works? Once you enable guard duty, it continuously analyzes these logs, cloud trail logs, VPC flow logs, and DNS logs, and it intelligently detects threats. Once it finds the threats, you can define your own workflows or you can trigger some AWS Lambda functions to take some actions. The scope of the service is at AWS accounts level. Some of the features of the service are, you can enable this with single click, no agents to install. It can monitor up to 5,000 member accounts. Let's look at some of the use cases. You can find out if any EC2 instance is involved in mining cryptocurrency if any communication with malicious IP addresses or domains, if your login deviates from expected behavior or any unusual data volume request to S3. Next service is Inspector. At a high level, it does vulnerability scans on EC2 instances. It does two types of assessments. One network assessments, which require no agent installation. Another one is host assessment, it requires agent to be installed. The scope of the service is EC2 instance. Some of the use cases, if your EC2 instance has any internet access, if you have any vulnerable softwares installed, these kind of use cases can be found using Inspector. The next service is Detective. At a high level, it simplifies the investigation process and helps security teams conduct faster and more effective investigations. Once you enable the service, it generates visualizations to provide context and insights about AWS resources such as AWS accounts, EC2 instances, user roles, IP addresses, and even Amazon Guard Duty findings. Next service is Macy. It automatically discovers sensitive data across all of your organization's S3 buckets. So it searches S3 buckets for sensitive data such as personal identifiable information or any health specific information. Security Hub offers comprehensive view. It's a single place that aggregates, organizes, and prioritizes your security alerts, findings from multiple AWS services. So it takes inputs from Guard Duty, Inspector, Macy, IAM Access Analyzer, Systems Manager, Firewall Manager, and even AWS Partner Network Solutions. Next service is WAF. WAF is a web application firewall service that lets you monitor web requests that are forwarded to Amazon Gateway API, CloudFront Distribution, or Application Load Balancer. This service helps us to filter any part of the web request such as IP addresses, HTTP headers, HTTP body or URI strings. This service allows you to block common attack patterns such as SQL injection attack or cross-site scripting. Next service is Shield. This one and the previous service WAF both go hand in hand. Shield offers DDoS protection, distributed denial of service. This service offers two tiers of protection, standard and advanced. In a standard, this tier is available for all customers at no additional charge. The standard protects layer 3 network and layer 4 transport attacks. When you choose advanced, it offers a standard plus higher level of protection, such as near real-time visibility into attacks in advanced uh, tier. Also integration with AWS WAF, also access to 24 by 7 AWS Shield response team, SRQ. Next service is a firewall manager. As the name says, it's a management service. 
It allows you to centrally configure and manage firewall rules across your accounts and applications in AWS organizations. This is more of a compliance service. As new applications are created, Firewall Manager makes it easy to bring new applications and resources into compliance by enforcing a common set of security rules. Next service is a network firewall. The scope of this service is VPC. This is a stateful firewall. Since this is a stateful firewall, it also provides some context from traffic flows such as what kind of a connection is coming and it can also identify the protocol. This network firewall also offers intrusion prevention, IPS and intrusion detection IDS services. Next two services, key management service and cloud HSM go together. Both offers encryption keys, but there is a slight difference between both of them. KMS uses shared hardware tenancy to generate the keys, whereas cloud HSM, which is more of a cloud service, here you have your own dedicated hardware security module. Next service is AWS Secrets Manager. As the name says, it helps you manage various secrets such as database credentials and API keys. This service also offers built-in integration for RDS, Redshift, Document DB. And of course, you can extend this service to keys as well, such as API keys or OAuth tokens. Next service is a certificate manager. As the name says, certificate. It's related to SSL and TLS certificates. This service helps you to easily provision, manage and deploy public and private SSL TLS certificates. This AWS certificate manager is also referred as ACM. Next service is AWS audit manager. As the name says, this service helps you continuously audit your AWS usage. With audit manager, it's easy to assess whether your controls such as policies, procedures and activities are operating effectively. Next one is AWS resource access manager, RAM in short. RAM helps you securely share your resources across AWS accounts. For example, you can procure a resource centrally and you can use RAM to share that resource across all other accounts. For example, subnets or license manager configurations you can provision centrally, but you can use RAM to share them across various AWS accounts. Next service is AWS Signer. It's a code signing service to ensure the trust and integrity of your code. You can use this in combination of AWS Lambda or various AWS IoT services. AWS Artifact, it's a compliance service. It's a central location where you can get all your compliance reports and select online agreements. Next service is Amazon Directory Service or Cloud Directory. The directory service is equivalent to AWS managed Microsoft Active Directory. If you don't want to use Active Directory, you can leverage Cloud Directory features to create multi-dimensional view directories. If you compare these directories with LDAP, traditional LDAP, those traditional LDAP based directories limit to one dimension. But using this cloud directory, you can create multi-dimensions view. For example, you can create an organizational structure that can be viewed from reporting structure point of view, location and cost center point of view. Cognito, you, when you think of Cognito, you must think of web and mobile apps. This service helps web and mobile apps to quickly set up sign up, sign in and access controls. Single sign on, as the name says, the service allows you to grant your users access to AWS resources such as EC2 instances across multiple AWS accounts. Last but not the least, IAM, Identity and Access Management, super important service. IAM enables you to manage access to AWS services and resources securely. You can create and manage AWS users, groups, roles, policies. You can create new identity providers. Pretty much this is the service that everybody uses. Let's take a few moments to quickly summarize all the services we learned. GuardDuty is a threat detection service. Inspector, 
vulnerability scans, detective, investigate, visualize, Macy, yes, sensitive data, security hub, offers comprehensive view, WAF and Shield go together, WAF, protect web applications, Shield, DDoS protection. Firewall manager, it's a management service. You have firewall rules centrally. Network firewalls, the scope is VPC. It offers IPS and IDS services. KMS and Cloud HSM, yes, think of keys. Secrets manager, as the name says secrets, it stores secrets. Certificate manager, think of certificates, you think of SSL or TLS. Audit manager, more of a compliance thing, make sure you have controls in place. Resource manager, allows you to share resources across accounts. Signer, code signing utility. Artifact, compliance thing, gives access to reports and agreements. Directory service, it's equivalent to Microsoft AD. Cloud directory, multi-dimensional cloud directory. Cognito, Think of web or apps, sign in or sign up setup. Single sign on, yeah, it's all in the name. IAM, lost but most critical service everybody uses. That's all for this lecture. Please do subscribe if not already done. Thank you.